the speaker, I don't think it's okay. Thank you, Mr. Biyan. Our, our embassy here, you can even come up here and go to the embassy. That Regarding the amendment of our constitution, as our representatives, do you have any regrets about the process which was followed to remove the presidential head limits from our constitution? And the, the ones which was overturned, as far as the members of parliament trying to extend their terms, do you have any regrets over the process? And after removing not only the presidential head limits, but the term limits in 2005, do you believe our democracy is stronger and our constitution is stronger after removing both the presidential term limits and the presidential age limits. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, I don't want to go into the arguments uh, about the constitutional amendment. Those issues were settled in Parliament and in the court. So I will not, not answer that question. Concerning what we are going to do, I, don't, I will not tell you my secrets. I'm going back to Kampala to organize. <laughs> At the point I made when some of you had not entered was a point about threatening people's lives when you were in the diaspora. You record yourself and you threaten me, you tell everybody that Nankabira is next, after Abidika Nankabira is next, and you come home and walk free when I know you are planning to kill me. You've said it yourself. So we have to behave, we have a responsibility, all of us. Members of parliament, likewise, we have a responsibility, okay? You cannot threaten to kill anyone, here, even here in America or oh, in Uganda. So I don't follow this question that our members be very careful. But at the same time, we want the government of Uganda to understand that people can fake these videos.